Hello and welcome to another episode of Squirtified Engineering. This is another uh, sort of overall channel update uh, because I haven't been uh, uh, able to uh, upload or well, film, edit and upload the episodes that I want. So I'm very sorry for not uh, giving you the, the material that's available because I do have several episodes on the way. But uh, let's just say that uh, my life outside of this and work has been a bit of a hell. And also I've started a new assignment at work. Uh, I think I, you will hear about that in some other uh, super app episode but uh, <clears throat> let's continue on a more positive note so Black Friday has uh, well we had Black Friday and uh, one of the things that I bought was this uh, Röde uh, Video Micro so um, uh, as you probably know, I'm using my Huawei P30 Pro and that one does not have a 3.5 millimeter uh, jacket, so I have this. So I have USB-C, not sure if it focuses, but uh, anyway, and in the other end you have a 3.5 millimeter and you have USB-C port meaning that I can connect the mic here and if I need to I can also charge the phone initially I, due to some reviews I also bought this uh, so TRR, TRRS to TRS adapter uh, so three-way to two-way uh, 3.5 millimeter plug and it seems that I don't need it so I wasted a bit of money on that but uh, perhaps it will uh, be used in something else but anyway let's connect the microphone and see if you notice any difference okay so that was a fail uh, I could not get the microphone to, to work I tried the adapter as well, but uh, no success. Um, I was, when I had the microphone connected, I was tapping near the microphone on the, the built-in built one, and then on the, the external one, and it was always using the built-in one. Okay, so uh, let's move on. Black Friday. Did you buy anything good? I felt that uh, this uh, Black Friday was uh, basically not as good as last year. Um, I did, however, get uh, well, the microphone was on sale. Uh, I got a Makita kit impact driver and screwdriver um, for quite good money um, I guess most of you want to hear about the Supra and as I told you I do have a lot of episodes in the pipeline um, so this will be like a sneak peek into the future because that series is not up to date. Um, anyway, um, the uh, when I rebuilt the engine for maybe seven years ago, I bought a spec stage three uh, clutch kit, so pressure plate, uh, clutch disc, and throw up bearing. I also bought. Uh, there are some uh, 
som uh, uh, how do you say uh, the other stuff in the mechanism for the for the clutch uh, I bought new uh, just in order to rule out wear of any kind uh, I couldn't get the pressure plate to work so I ended up using the uh, stock pressure plate um, the problem was that the diaphragm was uh, it wasn't uh, you know the, the the torque arm for the for the throw up bearing it was only going halfway with the spec pressure plate uh, compared to what was going on with the stock pressure plate so it wouldn't uh, disengage um, i tried contacting spec to see what they had to say about it and basically they just wanted me to send the pressure plate to them and they would have a look at, and then if something was wrong then they would fix it and send it back the problem with that is when well, that i'm in sweden so it's costly both money wise and time wise to send it first to the states have them look at it and then send it back um, and I didn't know this at the time but the, the diaphragm itself is loose and I guess that's what's causing the problem so um, now I you will see in the in the super episodes that I I'm taking down the gearbox because I want to fix this issue the clutch was not feeling that great uh, the spec clutch disc is a bit thicker than the stock one so I think that uh, the sort of uh, engage position of the pressure plate or whatever is uh, not optimal but when I took down the gearbox uh, I saw some heat spots on the flywheel the clutch disc looked okay um, <clears throat> so I tried again with the contacting spec this time since I knew one of the faults um, it was a bit easier to communicate with them and their support was a lot more service minded this time um, and uh, I think I could have managed to center the diaphragm on my own but the diaphragm is supposed to be uh, um, fixed in the pressure plate so <clears throat> to be on the safe side I don't want to have any unbalanced uh, pressure plate uh, even though it's close to center etc etc I don't want to run the risk of having it create a problem down the line so again instead of uh, sending my pressure plate to them uh, have them fix it and send it back they gave me a good deal on a new one so I went with that option and it took less than a week uh, for me to receive it so it was extremely quick shipping so that's that's very nice and also the uh, <clears throat> since i do have heat spots in the stock flywheel it's old i decided to go with a brand new one and most of the flywheels on the market are made out of aluminum and you have a re replaceable um, uh, clutch surface but uh, I think that might be too light uh, weight wise um, so I wanted like a lightened flywheel out of 
steel uh, both to keep some mass in there and also for durability so I went with a competition clutch uh, I bought them <coughs> from these guys import speed shop in uh, Germany um, I mean it, it, it was extremely fast took them from the time I pressed buy buy it now on eBay it was ready for pickup in uh, three days so that's extremely fast in my opinion uh, what else well the gearbox I took it apart uh, since I have the uh, renovation kit and upgrade kit and so on from drift motion um, so the synchro gears, uh, bearings, uh, the uh, thrust washer, etc. is all in place. Uh, I've cleaned up the gearbox housing and intermediate plate. So I will need to paint the circumference of the intermediate plate. Mm. I think yeah that's it about Supra but let me show you so here is the new pressure plate nothing special besides being blue and the light and flywheel competition clutch some homes and everything is in one piece um, so it's made out of chrome molly and uh, no I couldn't find it yeah here you see the, uh, the the article number product number so that's it about the news on the Supra well almost I also bought some more clear coat you can never have too much clear coat I've also bought some uh, thinner and hardener that I need for the red paint I was running out of that so now I can uh, finish painting the rest of the small pieces and now I'm finished with the Supra so let's move on to the uh, apartment stuff um, it, I don't think it was a Black Friday sale but uh, they had a good price on putty or spackle or filler for the walls so I bought uh, about 30 liters of that I bought also bought the primer and a top coat um, I will show you more about that once I get started but um, let me show you what's going on in the living room so you have seen this wall many times now um, but the area uh, for the door will soon be covered <coughs> so I have this uh, I can't I don't know the name in uh, English uh, uh, gips uh, plaster drywalling anyway I have these uh, 40, 45 by 45 millimeter uh, pieces that will uh, make that I will sort of make a support with and before uh, the, the plaster or drywall goes up I will have this OSB uh, 
or something uh, just to have better support and while we're in here who doesn't have the intake and also let's see if you can see something uh, here I have some uh, throttle that I used on my previous bike um, to convert it from carburetor to fuel injection um, I bought this intake because it was I think it was rather cheap it's complete with secondary injectors all four of them I have the stock temperature sensor there is also an air filter inside this but most importantly I have these so you, you know the you see the oval shapes uh, it makes it a bit easier to have these so I think I will be using a piece of this depending on how much I can fit inside my bike um, yeah and while we are here you can also see this is uh, part of my bed I'm sanding this down and I will uh, paint it um, to make it look a bit nicer uh, so that will be coming up in the home improvement series as well as the other stuff that I've just shown you about the apartment uh, but this is the bigger thing uh, hopefully I will get started tomorrow on this since I have all the material now so that's it for uh, this uh, general channel update um, hopefully I will go to the garage and record another super episode today so um, I'm working on getting back on track with my YouTube stuff it would be nice if I can get the microphone working um, otherwise I will uh, I know that I can use it on my SLR but I don't really like to uh, bring my SLR into uh, into the garage uh, in case of dirt or whatever um, so um, yeah thank you very much for watching please uh, like and subscribe and um, and see you in the next episode bye